Hey, time to do a CSS battle. Follow along as I do some CSS. Ooh, what have we got here? Uh, uh, what do we got? I don't know, let's find out. Um, first things first, looks like we have an outer circle and then an inner circle too. It's so curved, it doesn't seem like border radius will do it. Uh, we're going to do it first anyway, because we can uh, dismiss it quickly uh, if we can't. So uh, to do that, we want this to be ninety degrees blue to green. Uh, I know, of course, that's going to be linear, uh, but I just want to see if I can make border radius make that shape. Probably I can't, but we're going to find out. If we can, then probably we can do that and then uh, add a box shadow. If we can't, then we do something else. And if you've watched any of these, you know that often uh, my first idea is not the correct idea or not the idea that I can complete. Or at least not in you know the time that I allot for these. Uh, okay, so let's narrow in. All right, that's actually a pretty good sign. The fact that we can get there. Uh, that makes me think we're going to do exactly what I just said, which we're going to make this background be this. And then rather than 90-90, uh, which I guess should just be 90, <laughs> Uh, we don't want 90. We want 90, 90, 91, 10, 90, 90, to get a blue block that aligns perfectly with the edges of the blue part. So, now, here's the question. Can border radius get us that shape? Let's try. We'll try. <laughs> so this this is what border radius normally does. But what if we do like ten pixels? What do we get? Two, three, four, five. Nope. Four, three, two. And then what if we do this extra technique? Three, four, five, six. Ooh, close. Five, twenty-five, thirty. 25, 30. No, 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 no. So that's no good. We don't like it. I don't, I certainly don't like it. Um, so as I said, it's not gonna work. But at the, hey, at the very least, we do our box shadow now of uh, green. Uh, which will be over, you know, uh, what is it, uh, 40 pixels, down zero pixels, and then a color of green. And then in theory, this will line up perfectly. No, oh, uh, yeah, no, that's going to line up perfectly. But what we need is a clip path. There's a circle clip path. Um, oh, and guess what? A circle clip path does this irritating thing, which is <laughs> that it also clips the shadow. Uh, so, what's this? I'm looking at the syntax on this other screen. MDN clip path circle 
probably I just need to give it a dimension as its parameter. So you can cut uh, four, three, two. So you can see that that is not quite doing what we want. It is clipping, but it's clipping it in a way that doesn't make sense. So what if instead of this background, we do a radial gradient inside it? So I, I don't know where this will put our box shadow. Um, we're going to find out. That's a circle and blue and then transparent at the edges and don't forget a semicolon and uh, 20 pixels 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 we're getting closer 8, 9, 90 pixels this does not solve the problem of the green. So if, <clears throat> if that's the case. So that box shadow is still adhering to the actual shape of the element, which is a rectangle. So if that's the case, then if we add green, And that's going to be maybe and then we change its margin back down to 90. So that's closer. But notice that that edge is slightly wrong now. So not good, not good for our purposes. However, that is the shape. I think what that tells me, if this is dead on, and I think it is, then we can variableize that color. This color here, actually no, even better. We do var dash dash c coles comma so it's going to fall back to that. And then if we do another one of these guys and set a color, the dash dash C to green for the second one, and there's our, there's our green uh, copy of it. Now, it's in the wrong place. So we have a few options for where to move it to. I think that in this case, margin is what we want. And if we move, we can also do a transform translate. Oh, 36, 36 is dead on. And then over. So then this, <laughs> this, this gets us another problem. Uh, how, however, let's be that as it may. Uh, let's uh, go over now. Uh, we said 40 pixels. Oh, hello. What just happened there? Oh, no. So 146 puts us right where we want, and that's the top. Zero minus uh, zero minus 40. That's in the ballpark. Minus 50, minus 60, 70, 80. That's looking like we're in the ballpark. But that means also that this margin is wrong because uh, sort of the order of these elements come. So now we're going to flop these colors, and I think we got it. Now, that was a little fast. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, I think that's the shape. But essentially, <clears throat> each new element uh, 
is going to be on top of the prior element. You usually don't see that because usually you don't want elements to overlap if you've got your uh, if you've got a long blog post or a block of text that you're showing. Why would you want that to overlap with the prior one uh, unless you were doing you know some kind of ray gun style uh, crazy layout? So I haven't submitted. Let's submit. I think this nails it. And we're done. And we are. Oh, this is slightly new design for the uh, confetti and success. Watching, watching the site as uh, excuse this battle as close as I do, I notice when they make little changes and they do a pretty good job. I you'll notice I do have the plus thing, which is a, a few dollars a month, which I'm very lucky enough to be able to spend and get access to all the old ones. So I, I enjoy doing these and enjoy doing these videos and I hope you enjoyed uh, watching this video uh, on the unit replacement and yeah, none of that. Yeah, that's kind of it. Um, can we remove one of these zeros? Nope. There's another space we can remove? Okay. Uh, can we remove these two? No. That's it. Submit Ola again. And done. Thanks for watching.